I'm Alex Vanover and thanks for watching Divine Design Crafts. On this video, I'm going to show you how to use the contour function in Design Space. The contour function is used to hide a portion of an image by removing unwanted cut lines from the image itself. So this can be useful when you find an image online that you want to simplify because you're cutting it a bit smaller and you don't want to have really small details in the way. This can also be useful if you want to separate a flat image, which I'll show you in a few moments how to do. Or even if you like part of an image that you found but you don't want to use the whole thing, you can use the contour function to hide some of the parts of that image. So before we move on and I jump in and show you how to use the contour function, I'm going to put a circle around my mouse so that it's a little bit easier to follow around the screen. So we're going to start with this I love you image here. The first step to using the contour function is making sure that the image is selected. Right now I don't have anything selected on the layers panel and I don't have it selected on the screen. So as you can see the contour function in the bottom right hand corner is not is grayed out because you can't select, you can't contour anything that isn't selected. So first you want to select your image either by clicking on it here or clicking on it in the layers panel and then going to contour. And when you get in a contour, you'll notice that you can see all of the cut lines in the whole project. So you can see all of the letters and you can see all of the hearts individually. Along this panel on the right hand side, you can see every single cut line in this image. So if you know exactly what part of the image you want to eliminate, you can use this side panel. This is especially helpful when you have really, really complex images that have tons and tons of cut lines. Something else you can use on the contour function is the hide all contour and show all contours button because if you know that you want to use very little of the image, you can hide all of the contour and select what you want instead of eliminating all the things that you do want. Now keep in mind, whatever image is first in this panel is what's going to stay lit up, which means that it's still turned on because the contour function has to have something in the image to cut, but you can turn it off later if you decide you don't want it. So we're going to start with the whole image selected and in order to eliminate some of these cut lines all I have to do is go over to the image and click the ones I don't want and you'll see that even though the whole image is gray the images that I have hidden have turned much lighter gray so they're harder to see. So let's say I want to simplify this image because I'm not a big fan of hearts. I've turned almost all the hearts off and I'm left with the I love you. So in order to get out of the contour function, we're just going to press this X in the top right hand corner. And as you can see, all that's left is exactly what I showed in the contour panel. So another nice function about the contour panel is if you change your mind, all you have to do is go back into the panel and click back on all the parts of the image that you want back. So you can kind of go back and forth on this one. It's not a permanent decision when you decide to hide some of those cut lines. So let's say that I was making a, a mug that said I love you on it, but I didn't want some of these smaller hearts because I was worried that my adhesive vinyl wouldn't stay on as long on these little pieces. I'm just going to eliminate these three smaller hearts and leave the three larger ones and we'll see what that design looks like. So again, I can't change any of these hearts, but some of the smaller ones are gone, which means there's a little bit less detail left in my image which if you're using adhesive vinyl makes it a bit more durable. So as I was saying earlier, if you find images on Google, let's say, and you save them on your computer and you upload them into Design Space, they are going to import as flat images, which means that even if the hearts were a different color when it was uploaded, when Design Space reads it, it's all going to become the same color, all one layer, and you can't really edit any of the pieces. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to use the contour function to make a flat image like a JPEG image and sort of turn it into a layered image so that you can manipulate these pieces. I'm going to show you how you can eliminate these hearts. So in order to do that, the first step is I'm going to duplicate this image enough times so that I have one image for each piece that I want to separate. So the I love you is one and then I'll need two three, four, five, six, seven copies of this image so that I can separate each of the hearts. So I'm going to right click and duplicate six times. So I have a total of seven, seven images. Four, five, 
six, seven. And I always like to duplicate one extra time and then hide that image in case you were to ever change your mind and you want to go back and start fresh. So in order to get started, I'm going to select the first image and hit contour. And I'm going to go down and click the hide all contours button. And the only thing I want is this heart up top. So I'm going to unclick the U, get back out of contour, and then I end up with just one single heart. So we'll do it again for the next layer. I'm going to hide all the contours, click the next largest heart. So I'm going to click on the next layer. So now that I've eliminated each of the hearts one by one, I'm going to go into this image and isolate everything, all of the hearts, and just leave the letters behind. So I'm going to click each heart and turn the cut lines off individually so that all I'm left with is the I love you. So now each of these hearts is an individual layer and I can do with it what I like. So I can change the size, I can alter the placement of the original image, I can tip the hearts. So it ends up a lot easier to alter this way when you can separate each of these images. So the contour function is really useful for that. But I want to show you one last important piece of the contour function, and it has to do with how the Cricut actually works. So the way that the Cricut blade actually cuts material is it, it reads paths. Paths are basically outlines of all of the letters and images that you have in design space. So you know what a path looks like if you've ever tried to write on the Cricut, because unless you're using a specific writing font, the pens only know how to outline the letters. They don't actually know how to go inside and fill the letters in. And that's because the Cricut blade or pen runs on paths. So you can accidentally mess up some of your pads and the contour function, and it can look a little funky, but it's really easy to fix. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to select just the letters again and go back into the contour function. And if I go back and eliminate some of the cut lines in the middle of these letters, you're going to see that some of these letters end up just looking like blobs. So you can't see any of the cut lines in any of these letters because we turned them off. So that can be easy to do sometimes in the contour function. It can be a little bit scary like you messed up your image, but remember all you have to do is go back into contour and run your mouse back over these lines and you just turn them back on again. So it's a nice, easy, simple fix. If you've enjoyed this tutorial or if you enjoy crafting with the Cricut, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon next to subscribe so that you get notifications each time I put out a new tutorial or video. If you have any questions about using the contour function or if you have a tutorial or a craft that you would like to see a tutorial for, please be sure to drop that in the comments and I will do my best to make one for you. Thanks again for watching Divine Design Crafts and happy crafting!